like shaking hands in springtime. We've seen it before, but the soft breeze still seems unfamiliar after months of frozen skin. I find myself in the box I haven't opened for a while. There's a little stuffed pig in it that used to transform the scary dark into light waiting to happen. I find myself in the places I can't seem to get lost in, like my grandmother's house during hide and seek. There were so few places to hide that every place felt like I hid there before. I find myself in the places I dreamt of getting to, in control of a car, in college, buying my own plane ticket. I find myself in the little girl with curly hair who loves to learn and know things and show you that she knows things. When we meet our old selves again, we may want to tell them about how much world we squeezed into the palms of our hands about how many light bulbs we've replaced, about the length of the string we did not use to hang our dreams, about the sunrises we woke up to watch, the people we told, the people we fell down for, got up for, learned to look directly at the sun for, about the times we were submerged in a wave and did not come up forgetting that every inhale was followed by an exhale, about the times we threw away our life vest, sure that destiny would let it ride the waste of someone who needed it, how we pretended that each of our gasps was coming from the water that was tired of carrying all our thunder. When we meet our old selves again, we may avoid telling them about how much world we overwatered and turned to mud, and then let's seek through the spaces between our fingers, about all the keepers of the light bulbs we ever burned, about the sunrises we slept through, the people we watched fumble and sometimes fall but did not offer them our seat or to or to carry their gravity-filled bags, about the times we let ourselves drown, about the times we threw away our life vest, too proud to admit we needed it, each gas set new fire to our lungs, we did not know how to put it out. So we ignored it until, there was, until everything burnt away and there was nothing left to save at all. When we meet our old selves again, we catch ourselves by surprise. I am never prepared for this, never prepared to let myself sink back into the empty spaces of myself. So I let myself mold myself into who I wish I was. I hope that I can grow up enough to be willing to remove all the thread that I have ever used to stitch my mismatched parts into a large quilt. I hope that I can grow up enough to display myself as pieces of colored fabric rather than just one large patchwork born from rearrangement and ambiguity. If I meet my old self again, I will hang our string backwards in time. We will tightrope our way across it. We will not fall. We have practiced walking this way before. We will be stepping in my own footprints.